Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. If you, perhaps you're tuning in for the very first time, it's great to have you on board with us. Please hit that like and subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss any content too. Today we're having a look and a revisit at the Alpha India Group's AI systems uh, or AIG as they're also known. They're one of the two large groups behind model matching for VATSIM within Microsoft Flight Simulator and they've recently released a huge update which improves not only the performance but also newly converted FAIB models which improve your experience significantly and we're going to talk about how to A install it if you're new and B update it if you're a uh, if you're already using AIG so if you're new to AIG what you want to do is head to their website alpha-india.net and uh, some of their recent news and things are all included including their um, recent update AI manager update release a major model update for MSFS announcement as of yesterday's date as we record this you want to head to the software tab at the top and you have two options if you fly offline you're going to want to use their AIG traffic controller but if you primarily, like I do, only fly on VATSIM, you want the AIG manager from the top. You hit downloads, and depending on what browser you use, I use Chrome, it will download like so. And then it will head to your downloads section. You want to extract the folder, and once you've done that, you want to run the AIG tech installer there. When that's done, it will load up with the new user interface which is a lot neater than before if you've already downloaded and installed AIG from the previous version it will show like it does here package detected and the sim updates and flight plans section require an update if you're new and you haven't used it before though then all of this will be blank and it won't have a package to detect you can head to the quick install tab you can download any of the presets to get all of the pre-selected airlines installed via uh, quite a simple couple of steps or you can head to the flight plans page like before and you can select all of the ones you haven't installed and any of them that need an update depending on whether you're installing it from fresh or installing any updates instead you can select the one at the top Go all the way down, press and hold shift and select the one at the bottom to select all if you want and then as before you press OCI bulk. If you've gone from the previous version to the new version, on the OCI tab just hit update for sim objects. Let it run through everything as before and then once that's done update your flight plans as well by pressing the red button there and they will go green once they are updated. If you're updating once you've pressed all the red buttons on this start menu and you've updated your sim objects and your flight plans it will now give you the repair missing paints button at the top so we're going to hit that button and we're going to now install all of the newly updated FAIB models and paints for this new update the process could take a while because it is a huge update there have been a lot of changes to the models the textures used for this side of AIG uh, but it'll be worth the wait they are stunning really really good and as before too you can use FSLTL in the background and AIG both at the same time if you wish like I do I use both so these are the biggest changes for AIG and their AIM one click installer as it goes through and updates your various packages it will tick off so that sim object section there has gone green I'll do the same with flight plans. So the whole UI is completely different. The whole one click installer process is now much simpler as well, as you guys can see. So this main page that we're looking at at the moment is the start screen. Basically, as an end user, we'll have the option via the buttons that we've spoken about to quickly update the models and the flight plans. So you don't have to go into that online tab anymore as we mentioned a minute ago and select them all and click the OCI uh, button you can just do it from this main status page 
instead much much simpler there's no more verify package verify add-ons or anything like that to get any model updates either and as before they've upgraded their presets so you can just press one of those buttons to select a global base set of airlines or if you only fly in Europe you just need to perhaps install the Europe option instead they've made lots of adjustments so the newly converted FAIB models uh, offer a much better performance between 10 to 20 percent and in some areas up to 50 percent performance improvements according to their own testing and uh, for those of you who use the AIG traffic connector it also fixes any disconnects and crash to desktops caused by SIM connect that you may have experienced too. For those of you updating from the old version to the new version, it can be a slowish process but faster than before to update a lot of the models, certainly the FAIB ones, and that's because it's going to automatically remove all of your old paints that you had prior to this and then it will detect them as missing and then it'll ask you to repair the setup or update your flight plans accordingly. And that's it. I hope you guys have found this short video useful. The new changes to AIG. Hit like and subscribe. Share your thoughts and any tips and tricks down in the comments below. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a stream very soon.